In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this give box. First, select the rectangle tool and set your swatch to a color you like. I'm using red. Set your stroke to none. Now, holding down the shift key on your keyboard, drag out a perfect square. From the effect menu, select 3D and extrude and bevel. Set the Y axis to negative 18, the X axis to negative 26, and the Z axis to 8. Set the extrude depth to 150. Next, drag out another perfect square. Change your swatch to a new color you like, that you would like the ribbon to be. I'm going to be using light blue. Set your stroke to black. Now drag a rectangle down the middle of your box, making sure to center it. Once you have it, press Ctrl C on your keyboard to create a copy. Open the swatch menu and switch to symbols. Highlight the box and drag it into the symbols menu. You may give it a name if you like. Now right click on the extra rectangle and from the context menu select transform and rotate. Set the angle of rotation to 270. Now arrange the rectangle into a cross shape over the square and the other rectangle being sure to center it. Highlight the square again and drag it into the symbols menu. Then you can delete it. Open the appearance menu making sure you have the original red square selected and choose the extrude and bevel function. Make sure the menu is not covering the cube and that preview is selected. Then click Map Art. Select each surface of the cube and arrange the symbols we just created. Clicking Scale to Fit should make this easy. The right surface is 1, the left surface is 5 and will have to be turned, and the top is 6. When you are satisfied, click OK. Now we need to create the bow. Make sure you have your swatch and stroke set to the same colors you used for the ribbon before and from the rectangle menu, switch to ellipse. Drag out an oval shape. Then, using the direct selection tool, select the anchor points and create the shape shown. Now, select the entire shape and make a copy using Control c on your keyboard. Place the copy on top of the first shape, but a little lower. Right-click on the new shape, and from the context menu, select Transform and Rotate. It will probably still be set to 270, so uncheck Preview, set it back to zero, and check Preview again. Adjust the shape so the point is lined up with the first shape. Using your arrow keys on the keyboard makes this task a little easier. Highlight both shapes, right click and select Compound Path. Now make another copy of both shapes using Control c again, and again place this shape on top of the first two and adjust it with the rotation tool the same way. Now. Highlight the entire shape and make another copy. Select one of the shapes, right click and select Transform, Reflect from the context menu. Drag the shapes so their tips are touching. Finally, choose ellipse from the rectangle menu once more and holding down Shift, drag out a perfect circle. Place the circle over the center of the two loops, completing the bow. Place the bow on top of the package. You may want to use scale and rotating 
from the transform menu to arrange it in a way you like. And there you have it, a gift box in Illustrator.